Hello guys, Chaoslands here, and first of all I have to say a little sorry, because as I was making my notes for the Elwyn video, for the second part of Elwyn video, well, I realized one thing, I should probably talk about what the Emerald Dream is in my opinion, because that is uh, heavily connected. So, sit down, relax, have a drink, and, well, join me on a journey to uncover the secrets of the Emerald Tree. Okay, the Emerald Dream, as currently known officially, yeah, as currently of known officially, is an um, ethereal realm of existence where nothing can die and it's basically perfect reflection of Azeroth without any mortal influence. Only race that could influence the Emerald Dream we know of are the Titans. Yeah. Um. Okay, so the introduction is checked. What do we have here next? Yeah. Then we know that the dream has layers, and that is important. This was stated by Scenarius in War of the Ancients and later, later on used by Malfeud and Stormrage to infiltrate Deadwing's lair. Yep. And what's even more important is that what Malfurion saw when he entered the lower layer of the dream. He saw the unfinished landscape. Like, like a safe of the progress that was going on, of the, of the progress of reshaping the world in Titan's image. And that makes sense, because when you work, you save, you save the steps of the work, so that when you fuck something up, you can return to the previous state and like do it again. Hmm? And that's where the things get interesting in my mind. In my fury, in the fury in my mind, I think that it was Norganon who crafted the dream. Why I think it was Norganon? Because he's the keeper of knowledge, and he's pretty potent master of arcane magic, and most importantly, he is obsessed with recording of history. And what is the dream? The layers of the dream, they are recorded in history. Yeah, that makes sense. That's a logical connection. And here comes another part. I think that the dream serves also for purpose of reorigination. What is reorigination? That's the systemic reset of the planet. It kills everyone and we don't exactly know what happens after the, uh, everyone is killed. Yeah, we know that this is done by the Forge of the Origination, which is located in Uldum, and yeah. We have also seen what the Forge of Origination actually does. Because that's how Lation the Thunder King died, when he decided that it would be nice to claim that beautiful pyramid for his, for his own. Uh, Tolvir basically said fucked off, activated the forge and turned the jungle like Uldum into a fucking wasteland. By the way, just a little side note, how much Lation was actually powerful? Everything was completely obliterated. Only the Thunder King was there. Dead, yes, but without a scratch. But back to the dream. So, I think that once this purge is done, and there is only that wasteland-like landscape, the automatic system will load a safe from the Emerald Dream and uh, upload it onto the planet. Yeah? It will recreate the last save. So then the world would look like like it looked before. It would be the 
press undering Kalimdor with all of that beautiful lands and all that kind of stuff. But I wonder if the Well of Eternity would also be replicated. Probably yes. Because it should be in the last layer of the dream. It actually is in the last layer of the dream. Because when Malfurion ventured to Zinashari, it was there. He went to the Well of Eternity and then ascended as close to reality as he could. Yeah. I also don't think that the Emerald Dream is another planet. As many people do. Because, well, yeah. For the exact same reason I said now. Because Malfurion could enter the dream and then, like, s s jump a, a bit up and influence the stuff. He was incorporeal. He could not be seen. Only one who could see him was Xavius with his magical eyes. And probably also Illidan could see him with his true sight. Spectral sight. That's how it, the spell is called. <laughs> and yeah. Now I think we should also talk about how Ionar fits into that, because we know that Ysera, when she was, when she ascended into an aspect, got the aspect power over the dream by Freya, which was created and empowered by Ionar. And if Norganon created the dream, like, how the fuck is it possible that Ionar has power over the dream as well. I'm going to save the biggest part of my rambling and theory for the actual Elune video, because I think Elune is heavily involved in that. But a small hint or sneak peek or something like that is that... Dramatic pause. Once Norganon was done with the recording, he needed something which would keep the dream as it was supposed to be. Something which would keep it safe. Something which would keep it also anchored to the reality. So it would not change, it would not fly away or delete or something like that. And it would still be somehow accessible. Yeah, maybe because he foresaw some type of old gas trying to mess with that. And that's why he got upon Eonar. And that's why all that things like Ghanir and, in my opinion, also Elun and the wild gods came to be because they were like guard they are the guardians the anchors of the emerald dream into the reality it's because of these things the dream is there and it serves as the opposite of the shadowlands which are only like the destruction and the dream the highest level, layer, of the dream is the life. The life as it was shaped by the titans. The life as it was made. And it has to balance the death that is provided by the shadow ones. And once the dream would disconnect, or would be corrupted, then there would be nothing which would balance the death, or actually keep the death out of the way, but that's also something for a completely different uh, talk that I'm planning to do in the future. But yeah, it just Ionar helped Norganon with anchoring the dream to where it is to connect it into the greater system of the reorigination and the recreation. And yeah, that's probably all I wanted to say today. So to round the things up. 
Emerald Dream is a safe storage of the progress which Titan made by while they were create, creating Azeroth or shaping Azeroth. It was created by and expanded by Norganon and eventually anchored to the Azeroth and to that wall reorigination system by Eonar. It can be used to bring back the Black Empire. It can be also used to bring back something else. And if someone manages to alter it and create a whole new layer, it could also bring back or bring in some new worlds. And yeah, that's that's it. That was all the purpose of today's video. So, if you have liked this video, give it a like. If you have disliked this video, give it a dislike and use the comment section down below to tell me what exactly you did not like. Or use the comment section down below to present me your own theories. Then, if you if you are interested in these types of video and you also like some storytelling and that type of shit, then feel free to hit that subscribe button and next to it you will see a small bell, uh, bell-like icon which is called the notification bell. Click it and you should be notified when I put on another videos. Okay. Then, if you want to support my channel, share the world that I exist. Share this video or any of my other videos. And yeah. Just share the world about me. Ow, fucking mosquitoes. Then, if you don't like me, my content and whatever else and you want to ruin my day and life and whatever, feel free to do so. Take a link of this video, of any of my other videos, of my channel or whatever and post it on your Twitter, Facebook, Discord or even on your YouTube channel with Hey guys, come look at this fact art, come and hate him. Yeah, feel free to do so because, well, reasons. Then, if you want to support me, uh, like a little bit more directly, and you want me to get out better content, then feel free to visit my Patreon page, the link will be in the description. My current goal on Patreon is to get some monthly income so I could allow the Adobe setup for video and picture editing uh, with that, like, that their magical abracadabra type of video editing thing and Photoshop and that kind of stuff, it goes monthly subscription. Yeah, so if you if you like me and you want me to put out better quality, better edited content, that's where you should or could go. I'm not saying you have to, but if you want to, feel free to visit my Patreon. And that's pretty much all I wanted to say to you today, so... Have a nice day, thank you for watching this video, and I will see you someone in the future. Bye bye!